Hi, my name is Bindu. Today I am going through one of the most commonly asked interview question. What are the different ways to find if a column exists in a table? You can actually do it in different ways. One is by using system views and the other one is using a function which is defined in SQL Server 2005 that is column length function. System views. The system views sys.columns or information schemas.columns can be used to find if a column exists. Let's go through an example. So here is an example. The database T SQL 2012 has a table called sales.customers. I want to check if the if this table sales.customers has a column named city. So here using the sys.columns system view, I am building a query which gets me the row if the name city exists. So if the uh, if name city exists in this table, I want to print column exists. So the column exists. In the same way, we can use information schema dot column system view. If the column exists, it gives us the output or output as column exists. So these are the system functions, system sorry, system views, sys dot column and information schema dot columns which are used to identify if a column exists in a table. In the same way, there is a column length function which is used which is introduced by SQL Server in the version 2005. This column length function is used uh, to identify if a column exists. It is the most simplest way and it is the fastest way to find if a column exists in a table. The syntax is very simple. You just give the table name as the first parameter and the column you want to find if it exists or not in the second parameter. So if you just write a select, the, uh, the result, the output would be the length of the column you have provided. Because the column length is 30, that means the column exists in the table. You are just in this query, you are just printing if a column exists. If the column's uh, length is not null, you are printing it as column exists. So uh, among among the system views and the